Right now, it just seems like the NBA drama continues for the Boston Celtics. As remember last year, we talked about how the Boston Celtics could be a front runner for the NBA championship to contend against the Golden State Warriors. A real team to fight against what Golden State has created in a Monstars like atmosphere there in the Bay Area. But right now, the Boston Celtics have been going through a lot of issues right now internally. Of course, the Kyrie Irving stuff came out about him not re signing and then re signing and then not re signing to the stuff where Marcus Moore is talking about there was no joy on the team, no one's happy and celebrating for each other, to now we get this news about Jason Tatum saying that he wouldn't mind being the face of a franchise for the New Orleans Pelicans. And to me, when I look at that story, just face value, I think that Jason Tatum is crazy that he would want to go to a marketplace so small. I think Jason Tatum's personality and the way that he carries himself is very big game-like feel. He went to Duke University, and right now he's going to go and want to play for the New Orleans Pelicans. A small market team, a team that doesn't really take care of its superstars very well, and we see what happens with the Anthony Davis situation where they don't really want to build the team around you. They just rather keep the profits and rather just continue this business-like franchise instead of helping you achieve what goals you want to accomplish. And that's something that really frustrates me as a fan of the NBA and why I'm confused as to why Jason Tatum of all players wants to go to the New Orleans Pelicans. When we look at Jason Tatum's career, I think he's on the trajectory in the path, even though his shooting percentages a little bit have been down. Of course, 43% from three-point land last year to now 37, just due to the fact that he's taking less shots. But at the same time, Jason Tatum is on the, on the when we look at the chart of where his potential is going to be, there's a lot of potential there for Jason Tatum to be the star in the face of the franchise for the Boston Celtics. And I really do think that as he continues to grow older he's only 20 years old right now and i know that as a 20 year old you feel like you're the king of the world you feel like you are the guy you're the man especially when at that young age you have uh such an amazing playoff run i mean you absolutely killed it going against the teams in the eastern conference especially uh late in stretch when you dunked over lebron james i mean you just felt this emotion this adrenaline this sense of i'm going to be the it i'm going to be the next guy and then working out with kobe bryant just led to a different story but now we get to today where it feels like Jason Tatum just says, you know what, if I'm traded, I'm just traded. I don't really care anymore. I, I feel like I'm good enough. I don't have to be the face of the franchise. When we all know and well that guys that are 19, 20 years old coming out of college after one year are definitely not ready to carry the franchise. They're not the same players as they were in the 90s and the 80s where they at least went to three years of college and then eventually became the man. I mean, of course, guys like Michael Jordan, three years in college, then dominated. Colin Sexton, one year of college, not dominating. It's the same thing in the same situation where, yes, these are very young, talented players. I mean, Anthony Davis had all the potential, all the tools at a young age when he got to New Orleans, but he, he just didn't get a winning record. And same thing with LeBron James. It's all about how you build the team. It's all about age as well. We know that young players, people 24 and under, are not going to win NBA championships in terms of like the average age of a team cannot be 24. It has to be around 26 to 29. I think that is the prime age of when you finally get your superstar body and that's when you become a very good player and that's when you contribute and win championships. I mean, we're seeing it right now with the Golden State Warriors, what age group they're in and how they're dominating right now, especially when they won their second championship. And to me, when I look at this whole situation with Jason Tatum wanting to go to New Orleans, I just want him to realize that it's never greener on the other side. Yes, we know that, oh, it's like, well, you know, I want to be my own man. I, I don't know why Boston isn't letting me be my own guy. I don't know. There's no joy. There's no fun. But at the same time, if I'm Jason Tatum, I'm looking at this whole situation. What's more important to me? And it's just, I feel like this is going to reveal a lot about Jason Tatum's character and what he wants for his future. Is it to become an NBA championship uh, champion, that is, and, you know, cement a legacy in Boston Celtics history, even just his own history. It doesn't even have to be Boston. It could be uh, Charlotte or whatever other team he decides to go to uh once he gets traded you know whether it's the lakers i mean i would be a little upset but it's his it's his prerogative it's his story he can do what he wants but do you want your history to be nba championship at a young age so that way more stuff can come to me you know i talk i listened to chris broussard on the herd today earlier talking about how a lot of the boston celtics are trying to see this as a business and i think what's best for business is winning that championship and i think brad stevens has to do a better job in my opinion of galvanizing the troops and telling them look we have a special opportunity here to do something that no team has ever done, and that is, of course, beat the Golden State Warriors team with Kevin Durant, a five, a monster-like team in the Bay Area. We can do that, but it's up to Brad Stevens to galvanize the troops and do what is best to make sure that these guys are focused and 
and honed in on what they need to do in order to get to the NBA Finals. Because right now, it's looking like the Toronto Raptors are, to me, are the front runners to go to the NBA Finals. Yes, the Milwaukee Bucks got better. Yes, the 76ers got better. And the Boston Celtics stayed the same, but they still have a strong lineup. The Raptors, to me, are playing very cohesive basketball, playing as a unit. Nick Nurse is doing a very good job, which I'm very surprised with, but I shouldn't be because I think Nick Nurse is actually now a very good coach. I shouldn't be surprised at the way that the Raptors are playing. I'm just, to me, what frustrates me about the Boston Celtics is that I know what they can be, but it's up to them. It's not up to Brad Stevens. It's not up to the coaching staff. Yes, they can help out a lot, and I think that they should do a lot more to do it. But at the same time, it comes from within. Are you going to step up yourself, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Kyrie Irving, Marcus Morris? Are you guys going to step up and do what is right for the franchise? Not even the franchise. Forget the franchise. What's right for you and the team to win an NBA championship? It doesn't matter what it says on the front of the jersey. What matters is, is that you guys are a family, you guys are a unit, and you guys want to do it together. That is the way that the Boston Celtics are going to win an NBA championship. But it all depends on what the characteristics of each individual player on that team wants their future to be or what their goal is going into the season. Is it to get an NBA championship or is it to just to get your business going so that way when you do get traded or when you go to a different team, you can be successful. And I just think that it's kind of sad that if it's going to be a business-like decision, that they're not really going to focus in and hone in on wanting to become better players. They just want to, you know, be satisfied with being uh, second best and losing in the second round or third round instead of wanting to become an NBA champion. Because when you get an NBA championship, then the money offers start to come in. Then people are starting to want to trade for you. I mean, it's the same way that happened with Kyrie Irving, I feel like could happen to these other guys. But at the same time, if Jason Tatum wants to be the franchise star player for the Pelicans, then I wish him nothing but the best. And I just think that that attitude and that mindset is not going to cut it for Boston. I just think that when you look at everything, especially in Boston Celtics history, when you got guys like Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and you got the Bill Russell's team with John Havlicek, or even the Larry Bird's team, with Kevin McHale, Rob Parrish, all those other guys, Danny Ainge as well, who is now the GM. Those teams put aside their differences because I felt like, in my opinion, a lot of those players that played for those teams could have been star players other for other teams as well. But they decided we're going to buy in, we're going to sell out to make sure that we win an NBA championship together as a unit. And that way we can cement our legacy and our history as being one of the greatest teams to ever do it. And especially when the Boston Celtics have an opportunity to defeat the Golden State Warriors who have a monster-like team like I talked about. It is up to them what they want to do. But like I said, if Jason Tatum wants to be the face of a franchise for the Pelicans, one of the smallest markets out there for a GM and an owner that don't really care about their star player, in the future, Jason Tatum is probably going to say, wow, Anthony Davis was right. They really don't care about me. I want to trade. And then you're going to be stuck in the same situation. And you're going to realize, wow, I really made a huge mistake. I should have stayed with the Boston Celtics or I should have been... Uh, asked for a trade to a different team and I think that would have gotten my wish but that is just my opinion guys what do you guys think of this whole Jason Tatum situation do you guys think that he would be the face of the franchise for the New Orleans Pelicans would the Pelicans even be good or even get to an NBA conference final if Jason Tatum was added to the roster and also guys who do you guys like more do you guys like Jason Tatum or do you guys like Kyle Kuzma more I would love to know your guys' comments and opinions in the comments section down below. But anyway, guys, this has been your boy Bernie here on The Charge, giving the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. And guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I just want to ask you guys, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. And also remember to hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss our NBA content that we like to post every other day and sometimes every day if I get around to it just because of work situations and coaching as well. We're into the playoffs. So I'm going to try and be a little more active in my video making. But anyway, guys, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.